ladies and gentlemen. It is absolutely fantastic to have you here tonight for another evening of Hollywood Elite Wrestling action. Welcome. The chat room is packed. Jason PDSI, J Irish 780, Gordon Smack, Carl Zilla, Doug Justice, Christopher Merriman, Mark Ferguson, and uh, Pete M and Derek Bauman. Welcome. Great to have you here. You know what? We don't we don't have time. We don't have time. We don't have time. Uh, we have so many matches here tonight. Uh, we just got to get going because this is the Tournament of Legends. This is where we take a brand new set and we run them through a tournament uh, for uh, a title shot. So the winner of the event tonight will receive a title shot. I was kind of hoping that we would get Promoter Prime uh, before we went live here tonight, but so far we have not. Uh, but that's fine. We got a, a great night of action. We want to start by sending a big shout out to all of our Patreon patrons. A big thank you to all of them for supporting this channel and uh, the content on it and the content on the Saturday Morning Media YouTube channel. And a special shout out to our patron producers, Dorothy Pachoco, Eve, C Eve Cunning, Kathy Crawford, Andrew Calcagno, Tony Urbano, Brandy, David Akers, Scott Armstrong, and Vicki Sebring. If you would like to become a patron, head on over to patreon.com forward slash. We have a ton of matches. Uh, here tonight. So uh, very excited uh, to have you all here along with us. Now, um, I'm going to say because there are so many matches um, for the first couple rounds until we get down to four competitors left, uh, DQs and countouts are on the table. Uh, that's what I'm going to say um, because uh, we just we don't have time. <laughs> we don't have time. Our opening match is Tony Gurria and Hartford Love, Tony Gurria and Hartford Love versus each other. And let me tell you, you might be very excited for the winner of this match, but the winner is also going to go on to face Andre the Giant because Andre the Giant and Pat Patterson got uh, uh, buys into the second round. The other thing that I'm doing that I haven't done before, usually I assigned all the tournaments of legends at random. Uh, this time I am using the ratings uh, put together by Travis Heckel, uh, on the message boards uh, to seed the tournament. So the top two seeds were Andre the Giant and Pat Patterson, and so they got buys into the second round. All right, enough of this. Let's roll some dice. Let's ring the bell. And it looks like Hartford Love is going to start things off here. Dropkick two to Tony Gurria, and down three. Wow. Whoa, Hartford Love with the neckbreaker right off the top. The target is going to be four. And uh, the roll is an eight, so one fatigue for Tony Garia. Hartford Love um, going to throw him out of the ring. Uh, and he crawls helplessly back in. Hartford Love rolls again, running elbow drop on Tony Garia. Down three, tag Tony Garia is not going to leave the ring. He's going to stay and fight. Death jump, Hartford Love going up to the top. A big clothesline from the top, and he will roll on level three. Now, this is a tag move. Let me just see. Yeah, we have to we have to roll again. Uh, I don't do that roll-up stuff. Uh, I, I roll again on the same level. In order to meet the referee's count, you crawl helplessly back in. Opponent rolls on level three offense. There's the neck breaker again. The target this time will be five. The roll of 12. Big kick out. Hartford Love neck snap on ropes on Tony Garia. And he's rolling his pin again. Wow. Uh, the target five. The roll two. What a statement in our opening match, ladies and gentlemen. Hartford Love with the big victory uh with a neck breaker wow uh and i would i'm gonna call it a squash because that's that's pretty much what it was it was a squash so uh there you go hartford love moving on to the next round now hartford love <clears throat> will be facing andre the giant so um you know you get what you maybe he was just like I have to win this match as quickly as possible so I can rest as quickly as possible for as long as possible. Um, all right, so our next match coming out here uh, onto the game table is Mr. Saito versus SD Jones, and in the corner of Mr. Saito will be none other than Captain Lou Albano. Um, so we are going to roll dice and we are going to ring the bell. And it looks like Mr. Saito is going to start things off here. Double team in corner. Let me just make sure that there's no... Yeah, that's a tag move. So he's going to have to roll again. 
Um, and nope, can't can't use that move, Mr. Saito. All right, front face lock one on SD Jones. Hurt two, Mr. Saito. Uh, chop to chest two on SD Jones. Hurt two, Mr. Saito follows that up with a second rope chop on SD Jones, and he is down. Mr. Saito with a thrust kick to throat. Hurt two, Mr. Saito with a chop to the chest. Uh, SD Jones reverses it on level two. There's the Philly shuffle and some punches and that catches Mr. Saito that hurts him. Uh, gut wrench choice D and what is his, his powers in negative two. He's going to go for it. He needs a seven or less to make this happen Four. he does. Mr. Saito, uh, rolling his pin right here. Three is the target, the roll of 12. So a big kick out by Mr. Saito, but what a comeback by SD Jones. Not going to throw him out of the ring Going to roll up instead. We'll throw him into the turnbuckle. Could be a problem. Crushed by a big kick. Opponent rolls on level two offense drop kick. It's an agility move and Mr. Saito has the agility. So he will roll an oriental leg sweep on SD Jones down three. He's going to stay in the ring. Thrust kick to throat three. Hurt two. Mr. Saito into the ropes. Going to throw SD Jones into the ropes. The opponent tries a sunset flip, but you grab his legs and roll him into a pinning combination. Opponent rolls pin. All right, Captain Lou's going to roll his uh, distractor rating here. Uh, seven, he gets it. So that will be one fatigue for Mr. Saito. And uh, SD Jones will roll on level three. There's the headbutt. Uh, Captain Lou going to try and interfere here, rolling on the manager interference chart. Your manager distracts the opponent who gets angry and chases your manager outside of the ring. All right, we'll put one fatigue there. Meanwhile, you recover uh, uh, the ring to get to the opponent. The reporters of brawl, the wrestler with the best out of ring. That's going to be Mr. Saito. He rolls on level three offense. Second rope knee drop, choice H. Uh, gonna go for the agility because it'll work on a nine or less. The rolls a six. It does work. SD Jones shouldn't have gotten distracted by Captain Lou. Uh, choice C. Uh, again, gonna go for the agility. This will work on an eight or less. The rolls a six. It does work. SD Jones down three. Mr. Saito with some thr a thrust punch to the heart. Hurt two. Mr. Saito continues with a chop to the chest two on SD Jones. SD Jones reverses it. Here's a choice D. And uh, power is a negative two. Again, he's going to go for it. Needs a seven or less to make this happen. And does not get it. Mr. Saito is going to reverse it. Into the ropes goes SD Jones. The opponent uses specialty moves in you on you. Goes in for the kill. Thrust punch to the heart on SD Jones. Hurt two. Uh, choice C, um, gonna go for the agility. This will work on an eight or less. It's a seven. SD Jones is down. Mr. Saito with a choice H man. He's going to go for the death jump this time. Uh, SD Jones has a C, a big, uh, clothesline from the top rope. Mr. Saito tosses SD Jones out of the ring. He crawls helplessly back in. Mr. Saito locks in a sleeper, but only a hurt two. And Mr. Sa Man, Mr. Saito's throwing everything at him here. Hurts too. And uh, Oriental Leg Sweep. Uh, that's it. Rolling the pin. The target, four. The roll is a six. SD Jones with one fatigue as Mr. Saito hits the Saito suplex. So this, the target will be six. The roll is a seven. SD Jones uh, now at two fatigue. Thrust kick to throat. Uh, hurts two, uh, Mr. Saito with a chop to the chest two down three, Mr. Saito with a, uh, thrust punch to the heart on SD Jones hurts two, Mr. Saito with another Oriental leg sweep three hurts two, uh, and a choice C again, going to go for the agility needs an eight or less. And the roll is a seven. It works. SD Jones hurt two, man. Mr. Saito's uh, trying everything here. Can't keep SD Jones down. Hurt two. Uh, chopped to chest two. This is definitely not a eight second match. There's another Oriental leg sweep. And there he goes. He's rolling the pin. The target six. The roll 12. SD Jones with another big kick out. There's a thrust kick to the throat. And he is down. He is going to leave the ring this time. See if he can get a breather. Oh, no. Uh, he smashes Saito into the announcer's table. He's going to roll his disqualification. 
He is not disqualified. He's going to roll on level three offense. And there's a spinning neck breaker on Mr. Saito. He's down. SD Jones with a wind up punch to the stomach, too. Hurt, too. Uh, there's a body slam, too. Hurt, too. Uh, Philly shuffle and big punches. Hurt, too. Uh, another Philly shuffle and big punches. And that's rolling the pin. Now, Cap. Cap can't interfere. He's used all his interference. Here we go. Rolling the pin. The target six. The roll ten. Another fatigue token. SD Jones climbing up for a death jump. Uh, and he stumbles to his feet. And the opponent comes off with a perfect cross body block and covers you. Rolls your pin. And there you have it. The target seven. The roll of five. And with a perfect cross body block. SD Jones wins the match holy moly what a match what a match this was what a match this was a uh, perfect cross body block pin and uh man let's see uh sd jones was at a three he was at a five this is a four-star match why not why not four star match now uh, i do have to get a index card here because i got to keep track of some fatigue um now sd jones let's see i gotta get rid of this uh sd jones he had three so he will have two fatigue going into the next round because he'll lose one uh round one all right uh there you have it Oh, did I close that window? No. Here it is. Uh, okay. So we'll reload this. SD Jones defeated. Uh, we'll keep Captain Lou out here because Mr. Fuji's on the way. Um, all right. Our next match is King Kong Bundy, the special edition card versus Eric the Red. And, of course, uh, Bobby the Brain Heenan will be in the corner of... Um, King Kong Bundy. All right. We got to keep the matches going, so I'm just going to roll. Eric the Red. Excited to see how e Eric the Red plays out. Choke on the ropes. This is an agility move. He has the agility, so it will work on King Kong Bundy. Hurt two. Eric the Red into the turnbuckle. Uh, he's going to roll up instead, and there's a headlock and punch, and Bundy reverses it on level two. Uh, knee drop three on Eric the Red. Down three. Eric the Red is going to leave the ring. Uh, while brawler ups, both wrestlers roll disqualification. Bundy not disqualified. Eric the Red is disqualified. There you go. All right. So winner by DQ. We'll say it was a uh, smash with the bone there. Is uh, King Kong Bundy. Because uh, DQs are allowed in the first round. I'm excited to get Eric the Red in the, um, you know, against people like uh, the Moondogs or Sandman or whatever. Uh, smash with Bone at ringside. Uh, and we're going to say that was a dud because that pretty much was a dud. Um, but in the long run, it kind of helps us <laughs> because. Uh, all right. I got to open up. Uh, our tournament brackets here. Okay, I'll let that run in the background. Uh, and our next match is Larry Zabisco versus Mr. Fuji. The winner of this match will go forward to face Pat Patterson. And uh, let's see, we'll get rid of Bobby, but we will be seeing him later. And uh, I should I should have been keeping track of all this. Uh, let's see. So Hartford Love. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Start the tournament. Yes. Okay, here we go. Report scores. All right, Hartford Love wins. Submit. And then... Uh, SD Jones wins, and then King Kong Bundy wins here. Okay, and that is uh, 
All right, here we go. Rolling for initiative, ringing the bell, and it looks like Mr. Fuji. Oh, we need uh, Captain Lou out here in uh, Mr. Fuji's corner. Um, Mr. Fuji's going to start things off with a chop to the chest on Larry Zabisco. Hurt two. A big kamikaze clothesline down three. Look at this. Mr. Fuji tosses Larry Zabisco out of the ring. Both wrestlers roll disqualification. Oh, no, Larry, they're both It's a double disqualification. There you have it. It's a double DQ. What is happening in the early rounds here? Uh, I don't know how I can add. You know what that means? That means. Uh. That means that Pat Patterson's going to get a bye into the finals. Holy cow. What a wild night of results we are having here tonight. Uh, all right. So let me get this in here. Um, is the match over? Yes. Oh, yes. Ended in a draw. There we go. Double DQ to brawling. This is another dud. All right. So, um, our next match uh, is Big John Stud versus Arnold Scotland. And uh, I will say that after this tournament, uh, I'm definitely going to be running some matches with... Um, with Bob Backlund with Arnold Scotland in the corner. Uh, so here we go. Uh, rolling for initiative. And Big John Studd's going to start out. I'm so excited for this Big John Studd card in my in my, in my my personal feds. Uh, clubbing. Oh, down three. Holy cow. Look at this. Big John Studd tosses Arnold Scotland out of the ring. We're going to get another DQ here. He crawls helplessly back in. Uh, this is going to be either a death jump or... Uh, what's his agility is a plus one gonna go for that so this will work on a nine or less the roll a six it does work arnold scotland hurt two clothesline three hurt two big john stud into the turnbuckle throws scotland into the turnbuckle and he moves out of the way stud rolls out of the ring he crawls helplessly back in here comes scotland with a sunset flip the target two the roll an eight one fatigue bobby heenan going nuts at ringside uh choice g so this will be a death jump his power is a four so he's gonna go for the death jump on big john stud uh big clothesline from the top he's gonna roll on level three offense a big right cross on big john stud down three there's the sunset flip again uh heenan should he heenan doesn't think he didn't think Stud will get out of it. So we're going to roll the pin here. The target will be three. The roll of nine. Another fatigue token for Stud. And Scullin with the sunset flip again. All right. Uh, Heenan's coming in. His distractor rating is an eight. And he gets an eight. So he gets out. Uh, but Stud now at three fatigue. Backbreaker choice G. Again, going to go for the death jump on Big John Stud. And tries a big clothesline from the top. It works. Rolls on level three offense. There's an atomic drop on Big John Stud. Hurt two. Flurry of punches two. Hurt two. Arnold Scullin tosses Stud into the ropes. And uh, a running back elbow. Opponent rolls on level two offense. Wind up forearm on Big John Stud. And Stud finally catches him. Is able to reverse it. Lock up and shove across the ring. Ooh, that catches Scotland pretty bad. Uh, into the turnbuckle goes Scotland, and he bounced forward at the turnbuckle. Catch him with a skull splitting Larry. Opponent uh, rolls on level three defense. Scotland coming back. He is down. There's the sunset flip again. All right, Heenan is going to interfere here. He rolls a 10. Heenan attempts to give his wrestler a foreign object, but the opponent intercepts it. The opponent uses it, but may be seen by the referee. Opponent rolls disqualification five. He is not disqualified. 
Uh, if there's no disqualification, Heenan's wrestler rolls a pin. All right, but we got to add that one fatigue for later. This could be a ginormous upset here. Uh, the target six, the roll of four. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner after using a foreign object, you know that Heenan's just going to be saying that, is Arnold Scotland, uh, who will move on to the next round. What a night of results this is. What a night of results this is. Uh, smash with Heenan's foreign object. And let's see, Scotland was at a zero and Stud was at a five. So that'll be a uh, two and a half star match. Finish. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right, it is time for our final match in the opening round. And uh, this uh, this is another one I'm looking forward to. So many so many great names to look forward to in uh, in Legends Expansion 10. And uh, uh, King Kong Mosca is definitely one of those names. Uh, I mean, they're all great names, but uh, one I'm looking for. This artwork, I think, is the best of the set. Excuse me, getting a drink there. All right, here we go. Rolling the dice, ringing the bell. And it looks like King Kong Mosca is going to start things off. Oh, big move. Choice E right off the top. His agility is a negative one. He's going to go for it, though. Needs an eight or less to make it happen. The roll of five, it does. Reginald Love hurt, too. <laughs> It'd be funny if Angelo just uh, trounces Reginald like Hartford did in the opening round. Down three, Reginald is going to bail out of the ring. Uh, drags him out of the ring, throws Mosca into the turnbuckle, throws him back in, rolls on level three offense. Uh, going to try a choice G. Not gonna do the power move, will do the death jump. Uh, and Angelo Mosca, the opponent blasts you with a flying clothesline from the top ropes. Opponent rolls on level three offense. Again, choice G. And there we go. Death jump again on Angelo Mosca. Uh, the opponent climbs the top, but you recover. Throw him off the top. Mosca rolling on level three, and he rolls choice G. He's going to go... What's his power rating as a plus one? He's going to go for that. Needs a nine or less to make it happen. Eight, it does. Reginald is uh, hurt, and Mosca is back on the, 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 the attack here. Into the turnbuckle, he's going to roll up instead. Mosca with an elbow drop, choice E. Uh, gonna go for the agility move. This will work on an eight or less. The roll, a nine, it doesn't work. Reginald able to reverse it with a tie up in the ropes, then kick. And that is a hurt too. Reginald Love uh, into the ropes, tosses Mosca into the ropes. Comes off with a powerful flying shoulder tackle. Will roll on level two offense. Running power slam, three, down three. Again, Reginald's going to bail out of the ring. Oh, no, both wrestlers roll disqualification. Oh, no, Mosca's not disqualified. Okay, neither man is disqualified. Uh, we roll one die here to see who wins. It's a four, so that's going to be Reginald Love. Double hot shot, can't use that move. Rerolling, uh, choice G, and uh, death jump, Angelo Mosca. Uh, big clothesline from the top ropes. Mosca's in trouble. Knee, knee drop to the neck, too. Hurt, too. Reginald with a Boston Crab. No, but just a hurt there. Spinning toe hold. He's trying every foot move he can. Tie up in ropes and kick, too. Mosca powers out of that. Rolls on level one with a forearm uh, smash. Reginald uh, reverses it on level two. And there's a spinning toe hold on Mosca. Hurt, too. Into the turnbuckle goes Mosca. And crushed by a big kick. Opponent rolls on level two offense. Yes, Jason. You know what? Actually, Jason just uh, said that Al, Costello, Al Costello managed the Love Brothers. And uh, before I, when I was setting everything up tonight, I did look to see if Al Costello had a distractor rating. And at least he doesn't on his card. Maybe in the hand. Uh, well, the we haven't seen the handbook yet, so maybe uh, we'll we'll tell Chad to to add a distractor in the handbook. Um, 
for Al Costello. But I, I thank you. Yeah, I, I did. I did look that up. Uh, tries a power move. That is not going to work. Mosk is going to reverse it uh, with a tackle in the corner. No, we're going with the first one there. I clicked it twice. Uh, down three again. Reginald Love leaves. He's going to crawl helplessly back in. There's a big backbreaker on Reginald. Uh, down three. No one for him to tag to. Uh, back elbow two. Hurt two. Uh, head twist two. And Reginald Love reverses it on level one. Choke with Love beads. Get those beads away from him, ref. Dazed one. Reginald uh, whipping a partner's drop kick. Can't use that. Arm ringer. Uh, Moscow just powers right out of that with a lifting front chancery, which always sounds very fancy to me. Um, and there's a tackle in the corner on Reginald. Hurt too. Man, this match is going the distance. Into the turnbuckle. Uh, not going to throw him into the turnbuckle. Going to roll up instead. There's a lifting chancery again. Pinkies up, everybody. Reginald Love uh, tries a body slam. That's not going to work. Uh, a head twist. Um, it's going to hurt Reginald Love, and he follows that up with a leg drop, and Reginald Love reverses it on level one. Rapid punches two on Angelo Mosca. Angelo Mosca reversing it on level one. Into the ropes goes Reginald Love. And drops down. We roll again on this chart. And he comes off with a powerful flying shoulder tackle. And he's going to throw Mosca into the turnbuckle. Um, and he catches the opponent with a skull-splitting larity. It goes down hard. Reginald Love rolling on level three defense. Down three. He's going to roll out of the ring again. And, oh, no. Both wrestlers roll disqualification again. Uh, no DQ. Um, so we're going to roll one die here. Ooh, it's an odd. So that's going to be Angelo Mosca is going to win the brawl with a backbreaker once they're back in the ring. Down three. Mosca continuing here. Locks in the sleeper. There it is. The target is going to be five. The roll is an eight. I think that's the first finish we've, we're you know, or a pin attempt. Not pin attempt, but submission attempt we've seen. Uh, he will throw him out of the ring. Reginald Love crawls helplessly back in. Mosca locks in the sleeper again. The target, six. The roll is a six. And your winner is King Kong Mosca. Uh, enter fall information for this match. There you go. Sleeper submission. And let's see. Mosca has zero. And he now has two. So uh, I'm going to give him. I'll give him one and a half stars there. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, you got to give me a second here as I set up the next round. They got a double DQ. There's no way to to add this in there. Um, and there's no way to put a tie. Okay. All right, so Arnold Scotland won this match and we'll move forward and Mosca won this match so into the second round the only person who's bringing fatigue with them is SD Jones so uh, quite interesting there all right uh, so let's see here we had one two three four five six six matches all right, so we're going to, this will be match number seven, and this is round two. And this is going to be Andre the Giant versus Hartford Love. And then we're going to add another match, this is round two. This is number eight. Uh, and this is going to be S.D. Jones versus King Kong Bundy. It's going to happen, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't even realize that that was our next round match. Uh, King Kong Bundy and S.D. Jones will have two fatigue on him. That's pretty great. That was not planned at all, so that is a lot of fun. All right, Pat Patterson will have a bye, and then we just have Arnold Scotland versus Angelo Mosca. This is in nine. All 
All right, view this card. Here we go. Uh, this always, for for whatever reason, after you've you've added matches, to go back to the card stream screen takes a second to load. Thank you all for tuning in here tonight. Appreciate it, as always. Hope you all had a wonderful Christmas. If you celebrate Christmas, or Hanukkah, or a Kwanzaa, or a uh, whatever it is you're celebrating, I hope I uh, hope it was a good one. I hope you got some fun gifts if you were in a gift giving and receiving mode. All right, here we go. Round two: Andre the Giant versus Hartford Love. Here we go. Andre the Giant, the number one seed. Oh, they both roll a three. Hartford uh, is going to try his best here. Look at it. He gets the initiative. Uh, it's a power move. Let me tell you, buddy, you're not going to win that. Andre the Giant tosses Hartford into the ropes. And he comes off the ropes. A powerful flying shoulder tackle. Rolls on level two offense. A pile driver. A pile driver on Andre the Giant. Hurts too. Hartford love. He wins the match. Another one. A second one. And we're rolling pin. Well, we know he's not going to get pinned there. But holy smokes. There's the neck breaker. Oh my gosh. So the target here will be two. And the roll is a 10. Andre kicks out. Now a two fatigue. Uh, not going to throw him out of the ring into the turnbuckle, throws Andre into the turnbuckle, crushed by a big kick. Hartford Love with some hard right hand punches. Andre the Giant just uh, shakes those off and uh, hits a big butt bump. Let's see. Uh, choice B. Going to throw him into the turnbuckle. Hartford goes into the turnbuckle and <laughs> reverses it. Andre into the turnbuckle, crushed by a big kick. Hartford Love with some hard right-hand punches. Andre the Giant, man, into the ropes. Hartford Love goes into the ropes. Uh, the wrestler with the better ropes rating recovers first. That's going to be Hartford Love. He's going to roll on level three offense. There's the neck breaker. The neck breaker. All right, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the target is going to be three. The roll is a five. Man, oh man, oh man. Uh, Hartford is a running elbow drop. Well, there's no... Oh, you are right. You are right. You are right. Gerandis, you are correct. Okay, so we're going to back We're gonna back this up. Uh, hold on a second. I, I, for, I totally forgot that there was this whole thing. Hartford must have a power of negative three rating or better to throw Andre into the ropes. Okay, so we're going to take off one fatigue here. And then I'm going to look back and see how badly I screwed this up. Uh, okay, so I did just take that one fatigue. Okay, so we're going back. We're going back to here. Throw the opponent in the turnbuckle. He rolls a reversal uh, into the turnbuckle rating. I wish the asterisks were down here for this. Um, negative three power rating or better to throw Andre into the ropes, into the turnbuckle or out of the ring. If not, Andre takes over on level two. Okay, so ignore this last little bit. Andre's going to take over on level two. Uh, body, scissors, and lift. Jurandis, thank you so much for, for pointing that out. But look at Hartford Love. You Don't count Hartford Love out yet. He's not going to be able to throw him into the turnbuckle. I'm sure there was one earlier that I missed, but uh, we're just going to go for here. Locks Hartford in a bear hug, and he is rolling his submission for the first time. The target three. The roll is a six. Uh, now at one fatigue, Andre the Giant not going to throw him out of the ring. Going to roll on level two with a big headbutt on Hartford Love. Hurt two. And another big headbutt on Hartford Love. That one catches him. He is down. There's a body slam. On Hartford Love, he is down. He's going to roll out of the ring. Uh, the wrestler with the better ring rating, uh, that's going to be Andre. Andre is going to win on level three offense. And there's the big splash. Uh, roll two dice on rolls of two or three. The opponent moves. The roll is a five. So there we go. Here we go. Plus five. Uh, the target is nine. The roll is a six. So Andre the Giant wins with the big splash. And as much fun as that was up until uh, I made the mistake, 
uh, thank you for pointing that out. Um, big splash pen and Andre. <laughs> Uh, Andre will have one fatigue going into the next round, but uh, you know when your when your pin rating is zero, you can afford uh, to have one fatigue token. All right, so Andre the Giant wins, and we will put that up there. Uh, all right, S.D. Jones. Versus King Kong Bundy. Launch game table. S.D. Jones is going to have two fatigue. Not a good way to start things off. And we need... Oh, did I close? Nope, here he is. Bobby Heenan will be in Bundy's corner. And here it is, the rematch everybody wanted. And we will ring the bell. And uh, here we go. S.D. Jones starting off with a 10. Bump, butt bump and booty wiggle. Uh, Bundy says, please don't ever do that to me again. Wrist lock one, dazed one. Chop to chest, it's a power move. It will work too. Hurt too. Bundy stands on SD Jones, and SD Jones hops right back up and says so. Uh, and body slams King Kong Bundy. Holy cow. No, he doesn't. Uh, Bundy just smashes him down and shoves off the lockup. And SD Jones comes firing back with a double sledge, but it's a power move, so Bundy's going to reverse that. And uh, toss SD Jones into the ropes. Drops down. Roll on this again. Uh, the opponent tries a big shoulder tackle. Which is more powerful? That's going to be Bundy. Bundy's going to roll on level two offense. Big knee drop on SD Jones. Oh, rolling his pin. And the uh, target is a six. The roll is an eight. So another fatigue for SD Jones. Bundy hits a big splash. He is down. And Choice G's it up, and uh, Death Jump, his power is a plus one. Going to go for that. Nine or less. The roll's a three. I would say that works. And there is a Hurt two. Uh, knee Drop three on SD Jones. Hurt two. Uh, stands on the opponent again. Hurt two. King Kong Bundy um, stands. Keep Just keep standing there. Hurt two. He's just not going to move. He's just standing there. There's a Knee Drop on SD Jones. Hurt two. Uh, just hops right back up, standing on him again. Uh, hurts too. King Kong Bundy into the turnbuckle. Um, into the turnbuckle he goes. You bounce forward in the turnbuckle, an incredibly neck-breaking clothesline. Opponent rolls on level three offense. Bundy with choice G again. Gonna go for the death jump. Jones has a C, so a big clothesline from the top. Uh, choice C now. And uh, going to go for the agility move. This will work on an 8 or less. The roll is an 8. It works. SD Jones hurts too. Bundy throwing everything at him here. Bear hug locks him in the bear hug. He is down. Choice C again. Again, going to go for the agility. It'll work on an 8 or less. The roll's a 10. Here comes SD Jones coming back with a leg drop 2. King Kong Bundy reverses it on level 1. Uh, choke with boot 2 on SD Jones. SD Jones reverses that and hits a drop kick that will work because he's got the agility. Hurt too. SD Jones needs big moves here. Big, move, big moves, not these leg drop moves. I told you, King Kong Bundy reverses it and just stands on SD Jones. But SD Jones powers out of it again, throws Bundy into the turnbuckle, and he lifts a knee, and Bundy will roll on level two offense and lock in the bear hug. Hurt too. King Kong Bundy. Uh, stands on SD Jones, hurt two, Bundy into the turnbuckle, and uh, you bounce forward an incredible neck-breaking clothesline. Opponent rolls on level three offense. There's a big splash on SD Jones, down three. There it is, the, Ava the Atlantic City Avalanche, plus three. So he's rolling his pin. Uh, the target is 10, the roll is a nine. 
And so if Bundy wins with the avalanche, roll one die on even rolls. It is odd. So he is just going to take that. He is going to take that and go home. He is not going to... Uh, he's got to get ready for Andre the Giant. So um, King Kong Bundy with the victory over SD Jones... And let's see, he's at four, but so he got two during this match. Bundy is at zero. Um, and yeah, one star match. All right, and let me get my tournament bracket up. We're just flying through this. King Kong Bundy now goes on, and he will face Andre the Giant, and he does not have any fatigue, so. That will be interesting. Um, I wonder if I can. No, I can't. Pat Patterson will go here. So, uh, it's our final match. Arnold Scoland versus Angelo Mosca. And let me open this up like this. Uh, Doug Justice says Bundy spent more time standing on Jones than the mat. I think you are absolutely correct there. Uh, all right, here we go. Here is our, our our next match before we head into the semifinals. Uh, let's roll the dice. Let's ring the bell. It looks like Arnold Arlen, Arnold Scullin, the the Wonder Kid. Uh, side headlock one on Angelo Mosca. Hurt two. Arnold Scullin with a vertical suplex three on, and he is down. Arnold Scullin with the sunset flip. There it is. The target three. The roll and eight. There's one fatigue for Angelo. Uh, Arnold with the right cross. <laughs> Holy cow. Hurts too. Uh, and I'm not saying that Arnold Scullin couldn't beat Angelo Mosca. It's just funny the way it's happening here. Uh, Flurry of punches too. Hurts too. Arnold Scullin uh, into the turnbuckle. Throws Mosca into the turnbuckle. And it's a reversal. And Scullin goes in. Uh, big special move. The wrestler with the better turnbuckle rating there equal. So Mosca's going to roll on level three offense and hit a backbreaker. That's a Hurts two. And follows it up. Throws Arnold into this, the turnbuckle this time. And big neck breaking clothesline. Opponent rolls on level three. Another backbreaker. Down three. Angelo Mosca with a back elbow. Arnold Scullin moves out of the way of that back elbow and hits a flurry of punches on Angelo. Hurts two. Arnold Scullin with a vertical suplex, picks him up, drops him down, hurts two. And uh, there's another flurry of punches on Angelo Mosca, and Angelo Mosca waiting for them. Uh, tries a body slam. He has the power, so that will work. Hurts two. Angelo Mosca with a leg drop two. Hurts two. Uh, Angelo Mosca into the turnbuckle. Uh, go Scotland. Uh, so the wrestler with the better turnbuckle rating there equal again. We're rolling on level three offense. There's a backbreaker down three. Mosca with a choice G. Uh, his power is a plus one. Going to go for that. Needs a nine or less to make it happen. It does. Arnold Scullin. Oh, rolling his pin. The target four. The rolling 11. One fatigue for Scullin. Angela Mosca uh, going to toss him out of the ring. Um, it's up to you. Uh, oh, no, the referee may disqualify Arnold Scullin for smashing Mosca into the announce table. Uh, the roll, no, nope, he's not disqualified, and he will roll on level three offense. Locks Angelo Mosca in a full Nelson. Hurts, too. Uh, follows that up by tossing him into the ropes. Mosca goes into the ropes, drops down. We roll again on this chart. You count the ropes with a, uh, and the row opponent puts you down with a running back elbow. Scotland rolls on level two. Flurry of punches two on Mosca. This uh, this Arnold Scotland card is a, is a fun little card. Angelo Mosca rolling on one into the ropes goes Scotland, and it, opponent puts you back down with a running back elbow uh, into the turnbuckle goes Scotland now, and you are crushed by a big kick. Opponent rolls on level two offense. Leg drop on Scotland down three. Mosca with the choice G. And again, going to go for the power move. It'll work on a nine or less. Nine. He gets it. Down three. Angelo Mosca locks in the sleeper. The target six. 
the roll four, ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Angelo Mosca, who will go on to the next round to face Pat Patterson. Uh, all right. So let me see. Uh, he had one fatigue, but he will lose that by the next round. Uh, Mosca had one fatigue, uh, so he will lose that by the next round. And uh, he got him with a sleeper submission. And the rating for that will be two, three, so one and a half. All right, it is time for the semifinal round. Again, you will have to give me um, a second here to, oh wait, I gotta add a match to the show. All right, so Andre the Giant versus King Kong Bundy, classic. Classic, classic, classic. Uh, so let's see, that was, um, I think this will be match 10. Andre the Giant versus King Kong Bundy. I went back and forth about allowing King Kong Bundy into this tournament just because he already had his shot. Uh, in the original Tournament of Legends, but I just thought, eh, it's a new card. Might as well. Uh, King Kong Bundy. And we're going to add another match. This will be match 11 in the semifinals. <laughs> and this is Pat Patterson. This will be the first man. Talk about uh, having a relaxing evening. Pat Patterson versus Angelo Mosca. All right, there we go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we'll get Bobby Heenan out here. Um, yeah, that Jones card is interesting. I, I debated whether or not to use him in my WWF Fed, um, but he seems almost like he's a little bit too good. You know, like it's like, I would want him to to not win as much as as it looks like he might be able to. All right, come on here, uh, COTG Online. Let's load this. We've got. If we can get this done under an hour, that would be awesome. All right, so here we go. Andre the Giant versus King Kong Bundy. Oh no, 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 no! Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right. Let me try this. This will really suck. This will really suck. I swear to God. I swear to God. Oh, COTG online, you son of a. Yeah, it's just not loading. The whole website, just not loading. Ah. Uh, well, friends. We'll give it a second here. I apologize. Um, I thought starting later in the evening uh, would be a good thing to do. But apparently, let me quit the browser. Let me... Uh, Open the browser. Let me type in COTG online. Well, friends, um, I think, unfortunately, we have to uh, postpone 
Uh, yeah, I can't even. Let me see if I can get to it on my on the cellular service. Not using just to double check that it's not. Oops, oops, oops. Double check that it is not my Wi-Fi. Um. C O T G online. Oops, I am able to get there. Now, why does this happen? I was able to get there on my cell phone through cellular service. Yep, it's working perfectly. Ah, I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get it. Uh, let's see. Different IP range. I guess so. But I don't understand why. Like, it's like, what? What am I doing that is causing COTG online to? Is it because I have multiple windows open? Is that it? Um, well, I can, I can try one other thing. We are back in business, apparently. I just, uh, I, I see what you're saying, Carlzilla. Yeah. Because it's like, it's like, well, I got to have, if their website, if CT, COTG Online was easier to click around on, uh, then I wouldn't have to open so many windows. All right, here we go. We got to get, we got to get this. Because uh, see, like, like now I need Bobby Heenan. Um, damn it. Don't go back here. I need the Bobby Heenan card. Ugh. All right. Sorry, folks. We will get this. Bobby Heenan. Okay. Just the wrestler only. I don't want to open too many windows here. I'll be in trouble. All right, but we got to get going because I was all that talk of trying to get it in under an hour. And uh, here we go. All right. So. See, but now I've opened up other windows and see, that's the other thing is when you launch a match, it opens another window. All right. Uh, so you need to have a negative three power. So Bundy will be able to throw Andre around during this match. Here we go. Rolling the dice, ringing the bell. Andre is going to start things off and elbow drop two. It's an agility move. Uh, and that will work against Bundy. Bundy is hurt. Andre follows that up with a drop kick on King Kong Bundy and Bundy steps out of the way and stands on Andre the giant as he's uh, laying it on the floor, hurt to, uh, knee drop three on Andre the Giant, dazed one. Holy cow, King Kong Bundy with a boot to the midsection, but it's an agility move. Andre tosses Bundy into the ropes. Uh, opponent goes uh, for the kill, big move, rolls on level three offense, body slams King Kong Bundy. Down three, Andre the Giant, body slam three, body slams him twice, uh, down three, uh, not going to throw him out of the ring, will roll up instead into the ropes, King Kong Bundy, uh, specialty move goes in for the kill, Andre rolls on level three, another body slam, uh, hurt two, Andre the Giant, turnbuckle squash on King Kong Bundy, giving him a taste of his own medicine, Andre the Giant with a drop kick on King Kong Bundy. And that is a hurt too. Andre the Giant with another turnbuckle squash on King Kong Bundy. Hurt too. And a drop kick too on King Kong Bundy. Hurt too. Uh, body scissors and lift. Hurt too. Man, Andre really just. Uh, Big headbutt on Andre the Giant, or on King Kong Bundy. He's going to roll out of the ring. 
Oh, he crushes him a spectacular move. All right, there's no count outs where we're in the semifinal round. So there's one to the pin rating of King Kong Bundy, and he's going to roll on level three offense. Not going to throw him out of the ring again, uh, but we'll hit him with a turnbuckle squash. Hurt two. Heenan is apoplectic at ringside. Into the ropes goes King Kong Bundy. He's got a C and big specialty move, and he'll roll on level three offense. And there's a body slam on King Kong Bundy. Hurt two. Andre the Giant with a body scissors and lift two on King Kong Bundy. Hurt two. And body scissors and lift two. Hurt two. And uh, there's a turnbuckle squash three. Down three. Andre the Giant, uh, not going to, well, he'll throw him out of the ring. Why not? Why not? There's no DQs or anything. He crawls helplessly back in. Uh, sit down, splash, three, add one. Bundy in trouble, hurt two. Andre the Giant uh, with a drop kick on King Kong Bundy. Uh, King Kong Bundy reversing it on level two into the turnbuckle goes Andre the Giant. Uh, he can throw him in there. The opponent charges you with a running shoulder dive. You move out of the way. Opponent rolls on the out of the ring chart. Bundy tumbles out of the ring. He grabs Andre out, throws him into the turnbuckle post, throws him back in. Clothesline choice C. Uh, Going to go for the agility move. This will work on an eight or less. It could work here. It does work. Andre the Giant in trouble. Hurt two. King Kong Bundy with a big knee drop on Andre. And there he go, rolling his pin. Um, he had one fatigue. He's going to lose it. Yes. Yeah. So uh, the target zero, the roll eight. Uh, Bundy follows that up with a big splash on Andre. And he's rolling his pin again. The target one, the roll of seven. Man, oh, man. If, could Bundy hit the avalanche here? He does. Plus three. All right, so plus three. The target will be five. The roll is a seven. Andre able to kick out. Bundy follows that up with a clothesline. And again, going to go for the agility move. Eight or less, four. Uh, and uh, so that does work. Hurt two. Uh, King Kong Bundy rolls with a st just stands on Andre the Giant. Dazed one, doesn't even affect him. Shoulder tackle two. Andre the Giant uh, reverses that on level one. And elbow drop two. That will work. King Kong, well, it won't work. King Kong Bundy will, will move out of the way. Shoulder tackle two on Andre. Andre is hurt. King Kong Bundy stands on the opponent. Uh, hurt two. King Kong Bundy into the turnbuckle. Goes Andre the Giant. And crushed by a big kick. And Bundy rolls into the turnbuckle again. Uh, Andre goes in, uh, the person with the better turnbuckle rating, that's going to be Bundy. Bundy's going to win. He's going to roll on level three offense choice G. So that's going to be either a death jump. Well, he's going to have to go for the death jump, uh, because the other thing would, the other one would be ridiculous. Uh, the opponent blasts you the flying clothesline from the top ropes. You're in trouble. Opponent rolls on level three offense clothesline choice C again, agility move eight or less. <clears throat> uh, 10 does not work. Andre. Reverses it with a bear hug. Gets a bear hug on King Kong Bundy. Bundy pulls himself out of the ring. Uh, and there's no DQs here. So a uh, big smash on the announcer's table. Bundy rolls on level three offense. And again, choice C. Again, going to go for the agility. This will work on an eight or less. It does. And dazed. Oh, man. Dazed one. Choke with boot two on Andre. Hurt two. Bundy. Into the ropes goes Andre the Giant and uses one of his specialty moves, goes in for the kill. A big splash on Andre. Andre is hurt. King Kong Bundy uh, with a chin lock on Andre the Giant. And Andre the Giant powers right out of that and locks in another bear hug on Bundy. Hurts two. And uh, drop kick two. Uh, yes, I did the King Kong Bundy reverses it. I thought I clicked on level three defense. Uh, tries a chop for the chest, but that's not going to work. Andre is going to reverse that and hit a drop kick on King Kong Bundy. But King Kong Bundy reverses that. Bundy doing extremely well. Locks in a bear hug of his own. Dazed one on Andre. And a choke with the boot to two. It's like we're stuck in this loop. Uh, hurts two. Bundy continues with a uh, chin lock. Locks it in. And Andre uh, unlocks it and locks in a bear hug of his own. 
This is like deja vu. I'm having like all these moves. It's like, haven't we been through this sequence? Turnbuckle squash on King Kong Bundy, and he is going to roll his pin. The target is a uh, five. The roll is an 11. So there is now at three fatigue, uh, Bobby Heenan getting uh, itchy, itchy fingers outside. He'll be interfering soon. Uh, Andre the Giant uh, body slam on King Kong Bundy. And uh, that's going to roll his pin. All right, Heenan is going to use his distractor rating, eight or less. Ooh, he gets it. So there's one fatigue on Bundy. Andre the Giant rolls with an underhook suplex. Uh, death jump. Going to go for the death jump because he's got a C. And uh, it is uh, the opponent blasts you with a flying clothesline. Opponent rolls on level three offense. Uh, sit down, splash, three, add one. Bundy now at five fatigue. Hurt two. Andre the Giant headbutt three on King Kong Bundy. Hurt two. Andre the Giant Follows that up with a bear hug on King Kong Bundy. Uh, Hurts two. Andre continues. Uh, turnbuckle squash three. And uh, all right, Heenan is going to roll on his interference chart here. And that is a seven. Uh, Heenan trips the opponent, allowing his wrestler to attack from behind. Uh, so one fatigue there. And Bundy's going to roll on level two offense. And now Heenan can... Isn't oh, never mind. Okay, uh, into the ropes. Into the ropes goes Andre the Giant. Uh, the opponent gets you in position for back by drop, but you hit him in an awesome pile driver. And Andre the Giant, uh, hits a sit another sit down splash. Bundy, if Bundy makes it to the next round, he's not even gonna be able to stand up. Hurt too. Andre the Giant continuing into the ropes goes King Kong Bundy. And the opponent drops down. We drops down. We're gonna roll into the chart again. Um, oh, Bundy hits him with a pile driver, and he's gonna roll on level three offense. Uh, out of the ring. Uh, not gonna throw him out of the ring. Gonna roll up instead into the ropes. Tosses Andre into the ropes, and he comes off the ropes with a powerful flying shoulder tackle. Rolls on level two offense. Drop kick two on Bundy. Hurts two. Andre the Giant. Bear hug three. Hurt two. Andre the Giant, body scissors and lift, two, hurt, two. And uh, turnbuckle squash, three, on King Kong Bundy. He is down, Andre. Uh, choice G, going to go for the death jump on King Kong Bundy. Uh, big move from the top rope, Bundy's in trouble. Uh, going to throw Bundy out of the ring. Uh, no disqualifications here. And we will roll... Uh, one die here. The rolls of four. The, uh, we're going with the first roll. I clicked that twice. Um, so that's going to be Bundy. Bundy's going to roll on level three offense. There's a big splash on Andre. Down three. Andre's going to leave the ring. Uh, and he grabs him out of the, by the leg, pulls him out, smashes Bundy into the turnbuckle post, throws him back in, rolls on level three offense. Another sit-down splash. Holy cow, he's now at eight fatigue. Bundy in trouble. Hurts two. Bundy busted wide open. Into the ropes goes King Kong Bundy. And it, opponent puts you down with the running back elbow. Opponent rolls on level two offense. Turnbuckle squash three. And there we go. Rolling the pin. Now, did Bobby Heenan have a thing that was like, you know how like Jimmy Hart has, he can roll once on the card and then once on the manager uh, thing? It doesn't say that on the back of this card, but I wonder if the actual card has that. But you know what? In the interest of time, I'm just going to roll the pin. Uh, so turnbuckle squash. The target is 11. The roll is a 10. Uh, there we go. I will look into that um, elsewhere. Uh, Andre the Giant, King Kong Bundy, turnbuckle squash pin. Um, and man, uh, I guess that's going to be five stars just with the, he's got eight. Andre's got three. Uh, but it wasn't really that, that exciting of a match. I'm going to give it four star. I'll give it four and a half stars. All right. And let me come back to here. 
Andre the Giant moves into the final round. You better believe that uh, <laughs> uh, you better believe that Jackie Fargo is watching um, Jackie Fargo is watching Andre the Giant's performance here tonight and going Ooh. all right here we go um, oops Launch game table. See, it opens in another window. What is this? Okay, I can close that. I don't want to have too many windows open. Here we go. All right, who will face Andre the Giant in the finals? Uh, Andre will go into the finals with one fatigue because he Uh, I think I cleared the log, so there's not going to be anything in here. Yeah, so he'll Andre will go in with one fatigue. No, he had three, so he'll go in with two fatigue. All right, here we go. We got to wrap this up. Uh, and we'll ring the bell, and Angelo Mosca is going to roll on level one first. Body slam, power move. It does work. Pat Patterson uh, hurt too. Angelo Mosca. Uh, tackle into corner on Pat Patterson. Down three. Patterson's going to leave the ring. And he crawls helplessly back in as Mosca rolls on level three. Elbow smash to the face. Add one. And uh, there is rolling his pin already. The target three. The roll of five. There's another fatigue token. Angelo Mosca uh, not going to throw him out of the ring. Going to roll up instead. Hit him with a face rake. That's a hurt, too. Angelo Mosca with another face rake. Saying, how do you like this, pretty boy? Hurts, too. Angelo Mosca with a head twist. A couple face rakes, a head twist, but that's just going too far. Pat Patterson reverses it with some jumping stomps on Angelo Mosca. Hurt, too. Pat Patterson uh, locks in a Boston Crab on Mosca. He's hurt, too. Pat Patterson with uh, just keeps that Boston Crab locked in. And that's going to roll his pin right there. A target three. The roll's a four. He's just barely able to get to the ropes. Pat Patterson follows that up with bombs away. A plus two move. The target six. The roll of five. And with bombs away, uh, Pat Patterson. Oh, boy. What did I do with? Did I? No. Here it is. Uh, Pat Patterson wins the match. All right, so Pat Patterson, Angela Mosca, bombs away, pin, uh, well, uh, one-star match. So that sets up our finals, ladies and gentlemen. See, see, this is why I have multiple windows open. Addition complete. Now, to get back to my card, I have to click through here. I have to click through this BS, and then I click this. And this takes forever to load. This is why I open multiple windows. Uh, I'm not a hacker. I better watch out. I'll get myself banned again. Oh, all right. So Andre versus Patterson is our final match of the night. When and if this finally loads. And... Uh, I wonder if I can just do it here. Andre the Giant. <laughs> Pat Patterson. Yeah, okay. I'll just enter in the, the uh, thing at the end. Uh, Patterson has no fatigue. Andre... <clears throat> Has two going in here, but that's not bad for him. Uh, all right, here we go. Uh, who will face Jackie Fargo? Uh, you better believe Jackie Fargo is probably rooting for Pat Patterson. But uh, let's roll the dice. Let's ring the bell. Uh, Patterson will not be able to throw him, uh, throw Andre into the ropes, the turnbuckle, or out of the ring. Uh, but he will start things off on... 
uh, with a running shoulder block, but it's a power move. And Andre says, no, no. Uh, and he locks in a bear hug on Patterson, and he is down right away. Andre the Giant with a sit-down splash. Three, add one. Down three. Patterson's going to bail out of the ring. And uh, there are no disqualifications here. Patterson throws him into the uh, d- announce table. Uh, no disqualifications. Going to roll on level three offense. Uh, not going to throw him out of the ring. Going to roll up instead. An airplane spin. An airplane spin. And that catches Andre. He's going to roll his pin. The target to the roll of four. Patterson follows it up with the bombs away. Is this it? Is this Andre's first loss here in Hollywood Elite Wrestling? Plus two. The target is five. The roll is a ten. Andre with another fatigue. Now at four fatigue. Pat Patterson. Uh, figure four leg lock three at one. Okay, what's this? Roll one die on rolls of five or six. Instead uses a foreign object. Uh, the rolls of four. So he is using the figure four leg lock. Um, so that is another fatigue on Andre. And Andre down three. He's going to leave the ring and try and get a breather. Uh, no disqualifications here. We will roll one die. It's a six. That's going to be Andre. Andre is going to roll on level three offense. Sit down, splash, three, add one. Patterson in trouble now. Hurts two. Here comes Andre coming back. <clears throat> Bear hug three on Pat Patterson. Hurts two. Andre uh, drop kick two. Uh, click, 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 click. Pat Patterson reverses it on level two. Here comes Patterson. Throat drop on the ropes. How'd he do that? I don't know. Uh, maybe he tripped him or something. And Andre's rolling his pin. Here we go. The target five, the roll 10. Andre with another fatigue token. Pat Patterson, uh, atomic drop on Andre the Giant. Dazes him. Andre's like, yeah, you didn't even touch me, my bajubies. Because uh, I'm so much taller than you. Uh, choice A. Can't throw him into the ropes, so he's going to have to go for the power move. <sighs> okay, it's got to go for the power move. This will work on a three or less. Eight. Doesn't work. Andre reverses on level two. Body scissors and lift, too, on Pat Patterson. Pat Patterson wriggles out of it. And he rolls some jumping stomps, too. Andre uh, says, I've had enough of people standing on me. Locks him in a bear hug. Pat Patterson hurts, too. Andre the Giant uh, with a headbutt on Pat Patterson. And that is a hurts, too. Andre the Giant. Uh, another headbutt on Pat Patterson. Hurts, too. Man, Andre the Giant follows that up with another headbutt. Jeez, how many headbutts? And that is going to go for a pin right there. The target for the roll is a seven. Another fatigue token. Andre follows it up with the big splash. Here it is. Roll two dice on rolls of two or three. No. So here it is. A big plus five. This could be it. The target ten. The roll eight. And with a big splash, Andre the Giant wins the night okay i'll add that in later uh there you go ladies and gentlemen uh we're gonna wrap things up here because uh, we've already gone past an hour with an hour and some change uh what an evening uh andre the giant will face jackie fargo on card 105 you better believe that uh, uh fargo is going to be uh trying to come up with some sort of shenanigans uh before that um Next uh, next card, I think we'll definitely have a rematch of that uh, that match that ended in a double disqualification. Uh, we'll be back next Tuesday. Happy New Year, my friends. Uh, I hope you have a fantastic uh, New Year's. I think everybody celebrates. Well, some people don't celebrate that, but we go through it whether we want to or not. Thanks for being here, ladies and gentlemen. I will talk to you next week. Thank you all. Uh, Christopher Merriman, Jay Irish 780, Michael Brada, Doc Man J, Doc Justice, Jason, PDSI, Michael Bratta, uh, Carl Zilla, Mark Ferguson. I'm trying not to miss anybody. Doug Justice, Gordon Smack, Gerandus, Christopher Merriman. Uh, if I forget you, it is not on purpose. I'm just scrolling through the list here. Christopher Merriman. Uh, Mr. 
Mr. Bass Man. Hey, Mr. Bass Man. Right? I guess it is. But it might be Bass Man. Maybe, I don't know if you're a fisher. Maybe it's not a fisher. Durandis, J. Irish, Jason, Pete M. Thank you for being here. I'm trying to get everybody. I'm sure I've missed someone. But thank you all for being here. I appreciate it. Uh, we'll talk to you soon.